that time again. Really fun! Time on a Saturday with friends and family. There's a lot of games and prizes and stuff to do. When the front of the school turns into a tiny pumpkin patch, you know it's time for a Johnson tradition. Hallelujah! Yay, Hallelujah! Welcome to Hallelujah! Well, we had like a line that would go all the way like past the band. A PTO fundraiser, all of the money from hair coloring, the Plinko game, miniature golf, the football toss, and the bouncy house goes back into the school. So this, this actually helps us fund a lot of things for our building. We're working on an innovation lab. We've got different things, a sensory room we've just worked on. What about like that? Bookworms are right at home in the gym. There are really a lot of creative items here. Alongside the silent auction items. It's been a pretty big hit. The kids love it. Cotton candy has a way of doing that. The 80s music has a way with Mrs. Opitz. Because there's games and you can win things and it's, it's really fun. And the cakewalk gave first graders a chance for some QT with Mrs. Bibbins and her little stud, Jax. This guy's awesome. Oh, it's a lot of fun. Uh, they were all really excited to come and I told them I'd be working at one, so then their eyes like light up like, oh, like, okay. Um, and they all asked if I would bring Jax too because they want to see the little guy. So hopefully I'll see a few more of mine, even though it's cold. Yes, it was chilly, but the tradition of hullabaloo appeals to students even after they leave Johnson. Students like the Opit sisters, twins, and talented face painters. I remember um, seeing almost everyone in my grade being here when we went to school. And I see a lot of people meeting up with big, big friend groups now, so I think it's still as popular. The Johnson Hullabaloo. What's fun today is a building block for tomorrow.